and welcome back. Our final segment for this morning is a conversation with the good folks from the University of Belize as they prepare for their 14th annual marketing expo. That being said, we have with us via Zoom this morning a lecturer from the University of Belize, Stacey Tewes. Good morning, Ms. Tewes. Good morning. Thank you for welcoming our marketing class today. It's a pleasure to be here. All we right. greatly appreciate your support. Perfect. We also have with us Naveen Diaz. She's a representative of Smart Cash. Good morning, Naveen. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Talk to us about the 14th annual, if I may, um, this whole idea of marketing and, and getting as many students involved in product development and advertising and that sort of stuff. Belize Marketing Expo, our students experience realistic simulations that let them see what it's like to start, manage, and build a company. Um, working with their peers, they tackle challenges of a startup, mm -hmm. from idea generation, securing financing, launching their own business, and by the end of the semester, they understand how to turn a great idea into a business plan, mm -hmm. Um, perfect like their elevator pitch, they learn some salesmanship, yeah. and they even make some sales. So, um, yes, it's a, it's the 14th annual expo, however, it's our second virtual expo. Mm -hmm. um, so every year, students, look, they, they really look forward to participating in the marketing expo. And in the spirit of entrepreneurship, um, since the pandemic, we decided to move the expo online so that students can continue to benefit from this experience. So even though we were unable to continue having the big venue because of social distancing, uh, we, we focused. Um, so we see success in the first virtual expo with the abil ability to quickly shift and adapt focus. Mm -hmm. And um, in general, the COVID-19 um, pandemic has dramatically impacted the way that business is conducted in Belize. But we're determined to make the best of the days ahead and the, the, the consequent the years to come, right? Yeah. So we might have a combination in the future of online and uh, in person once, um, when, well, I don't want to say when things get back to normal because I don't know if that will happen, but um, as, as time progresses, right? Mm -hmm. So our students, they've been actively promoting and offering their services on so over social media platforms, particularly mostly Facebook, um, to customers. So they've been interacting with customers, which is different than um, than the previous format. You know, so the interaction with the students and customers have been taking place during the semester. And this new format has impacted our expo in many ways, but um, most importantly, it's forced creativity among ourselves and our students. So this is our virtual, second virtual expo. Um, it will be held on Friday the 26th of November via the university's Facebook page and it will start at 8.30 until 2 p.m. with a break in the middle. And our theme is innovative, interactive, breakthrough initiatives. So we have a total of 36 groups and 189 students uh, with their products, and services and even online services, which is new. Um, and so some examples of the kinds of um, products and services, we have smart apps. We have Naveen here today. She has developed a smart app. Um, we have um, a lot of online teaching tools, even a drive-through service, um, a lot of organic products, um, virtual study buddy, um, vegan restaurant and yoga coffee studios, but among others. So there will, there will be many. Um, so we welcome everyone to join us in supporting our students as they showcase their talents. You know, um, it's interesting the way these expos uh, expose, these expos expose the trends in terms of products in this time and age and for, for whatever time or age these expos are held for example we see where uh, organic products are trending 
We also right. see where uh, first where people are moving towards using the internet and the virtual space more so to see now uh, virtual uh, apps or digital apps being developed as well. Is, is this also perhaps a way for the university and for the country to be exposed to what's trending in terms of businesses? Well, certainly. One of the first stages of our product is the assessment of customer need. Mm -hmm. So they do a lot of uh, polling, uh, um, pilot testing, concept testing to assess the need of the environment, the need of people. They go out and talk to people and ask them what they would like to see. And from there, students brainstorm and uh, develop um, products and services that are targeted and honed towards the customer's needs in the changing environment. Yeah. And, and I want to bring in uh, the representative from Smart Cash, Ms. Naveen Diaz, uh, in the conversation. Let's talk a bit about your product. What is Smart Cash? So, um, Smart Cash is a digital software that uh, we choose to, uh, it facilitates transactions when purchasing food at the school's cafeteria. So considering the pandemic um, and students possibly returning to school, we wanted to make an impact on students' lives and create something that, you know, we can use to be safer and healthier. Um, so that is where Smart Cash came about. How, how, does the, how does the product work? If I go to school and I want to purchase something, how do I get that done? Smart so the cash. way smart, yeah, the way smart cash works is like I mentioned, it's a barcode system. So it follows a basic algorithm just to ensure um, that you can purchase your food with just the scan of a code. So it comes along with every student's personal account. Uh, it's linked to the barcode, and that way you can purchase food from the cafeteria. And um, it's just as easy as one, two, three. You make a scan, get your food, and go. Okay, so uh, just, just another question in that. You're saying that the customer can put cash on their app and as a result have that type of currency to pay? I, 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 yes. I, yeah, so is that what you're saying? Yes, so um, with the barcode, it comes with um, designated rechargeable funds that the students can use. So that way, the more you use the app Smart Cash, the more funds you can receive to purchase. Wow. How, how did you come up with this idea? What inspired you? Well, for my team and I, uh, we wanted to cater to the University of Belize. So um, we thought, why not? Uh, create something that you know the university can invest in um, so this way we just thought of smart cash because uh, like we said even though the students would be the primary users uh, the university would have to be the one to implement the software into their environment okay what has been the buy-in from students over the years in terms of participating in this expo and what, if any, has been the follow-up or the success of those who have gone through this particular initiative and move on to other areas of, of professional life? Well, as for the Expo, um, I do have a couple of friends that, um, when participated, they came up with, you know, an excellent idea and took it further to creating their own businesses and becoming entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. um, as for the Smart Cash app, we would one day, of course, like to expand to uh, wider concepts for the school, like the libraries, the, um, the bookstores, for example, and so on. So if that could be implemented into the school's environment, that would be a great help, especially in the times of COVID-19 right now. So we do believe that we can make an impact and, and really help the school and promote 
the uh, different changed experience as a student at the University of Belize. Ms. Stelwes, what are some of the interesting products that you've seen come out of the past expos that are now uh, doing well on the local market and perhaps even internationally? Well, that's a good question because some students decide to continue their business even after expo. So um, few of the successful businesses that have continued on are, for example, um, Belize Eco Bag. Um, we also there's also a um, donut business that's still um, that's mm -hmm. still continuing. Um, there are online businesses that um, companies have decided to adopt, and even um, some stores have um, started selling their the students' products in store. Um, of course, the the really interested students are the ones who, dis who decide that marketing is their future, are the ones that more invested. So um, not all businesses continue post-expo, but um, when they do, um, we, we give them that support and acknowledge them, and we're very proud of our students. No, no. Uh we have a representative of Smart, e Smart Cash with us. Uh, however, Ms. Stewis, if you would speak to a couple of the other interesting products that uh, viewers and those who are wanting to participate can expect uh, when the uh, annual marketing expo is aired, 14th annual. Okay, so as I mentioned, now we have a greater range of products. So in the, in the past, we had more physical products. Now we are seeing more online services. And um, one, of, one of my, I guess, favorite online services that came up, that's coming out this year is one called um, Donuts, where students meet with other students. You know, they've been in isolation during the pandemic, and then they can form social clubs with other, other students. And then there are more um, services like this, so we see more online services. Um, we have our, our usual products, like um, a lot of them are natural, organic products. Um, we have a, um, a few meal prep services and workout. So most of the um, most of the products and services are are intended to uplift people because as you know during the pandemic um many of us have been going through a lot of change and stress so when we assess the need in the market found that the biggest need um was one um social and two the the need for um mindfulness and positivity. Mm. So um, you will find that many of the products and services um, fall under fall under this uh, category of um, upliftment and trying to encourage and motivate um, people to focus on self improvement. So they are tools for self improvement, and I'm I'm really excited for this. Because, um, in my opinion, this is very ethical marketing, and they're very happy about their ability to help others. So we we have um, very altruistic students who really care about helping their fellow man, and I I really appreciate this. All right. Well, with that, uh, Miss Terris, if you would, I would allow you a minute to give your parting words as we wrap up encouraging people to tune in and to participate in the expo. Okay, well, thank you again for having us on our show. And we'd like to remind everyone that the date is, and you can mark it on your calendars, Friday the 26th of November, from 8.30 a.m. to 2 p.m. with a break in the middle on the UB Facebook page. 
And our theme again is innovative, interactive breakthrough initiatives. So we hope to see, um, we hope to see the Channel 5 um, tune in. <laughs> so, um, and also we hope that the general audience watching this show would um, support our students. So thank you again for having us here. Thank you, thank you too. So with that, a lot of exciting stuff happening for this year's uh, University of Belize Expo. We're going to be taking a break and when we come back, we will uh, be having our wrap-up segment where we wrap up this morning's show.